everyone hear me loud and clear you may send your reply through our chat box okay see everyone can hear me loud and clear i may now start good morning coffee millias we are now on the third session of the coffee break webinar series breakthroughs on research and extension for the advancement of knowledge of stakeholders let me introduce myself. I am JP, still your moderator for this session. I would like to thank you, those who have been with us since the last session. You know, it's nice to feel that there are still people who chose to stay with us. <laughs> just kidding. And those who have just joined with us today, you are very much welcome to stay and learn with us. I hope everyone's having a great cup of coffee at the moment, giving us the caffeine cake we need for today. At sana, laging masarap na rin ang ating mga ula mamayang tanghalian. Moving on, if you want to connect with us, you may contact us through the num mobile number and emails flashed on your screens. For concerns, reach us through our mobile number appearing on, your, on the screen, or through our email addresses. If it's webinar-related concern, you may contact specifically the email ncrdeck.webser at gmail.com. If you want to get updated on the schedules and other things that we do, you may follow our Facebook page at NCRDEC Philippines where you can also message us for your convenience. Also, you can also you can message you can subscribe to our YouTube channel NCR Deck TV for some informational videos. Again, FYI, we just recently launched our YouTube channel. So please do not expect tons of videos yet. But we promise we'll get there. Among the few videos was the first webinar session entitled Characterization and Identification of Cultivated Coffee in the Philippines. 
Also, stay tuned for a replay of the second webinar last session entitled Building Up the Chemistry, Investigating the Science Behind Coffee Processing. Held last August 20, that was led by our Vice President for Research and Extension, Dr. Ruel M. Mojica. As of the moment, we already have 100 plus participants in the house, so I guess we can now start the ball rolling. Once again, we are grateful to welcome you to the third session of our Coffee Break webinar series entitled Declaration, Communicating Coffee Products Through Branding and Packaging. This session is still in partnership with the DA Bar funded project, the commercialization of specialty coffee products. But first, let us start the session with a prayer. Lord, may nothing separate me from you today. Teach me how to choose only your way today, so each step will lead me closer to you. Help me to the word and not Help me keep my heart pure and undivided from my own careless thoughts, words, and actions. And keep me from being distracted by my wants, my desires, my thoughts on how things should be. Help me to embrace what comes my way as an opportunity. Finally, help me rest in the truth of Psalm 8613. Great is your love toward me. You already see the ways I will fall short and mess up. But right now, I consciously have to whisper of absolute love for me to the deepest part of my heart. I recognize your love for me is not based on my performance. You love me, warts and all. That's amazing. But what's most amazing is that the Savior of the world would desire a few minutes with me this morning. Lord, help me to forever remember what a gift it is to sit with you like this. Amen. Good morning again. I am JP, your moderator for this session, and was your moderator for the previous sessions. I hope you're all doing great. As of the moment, we have 100 plus attendees here at Cisco WebEx Software, and also we say hi to our Facebook Live audience there. For the information of our dear attendees, here are some guidelines and house rules. Please take note. First, be informed that this webinar session is recorded and, current, and currently streaming via Facebook Live at the NCR Deck Facebook page at NCR Deck Philippines. Second, a replay of this session will be uploaded on our YouTube channel, NCR Deck TV. So make sure to follow us through so you can be updated. Third, questions will be entertained at the end of the lecture. But if you already have that session related question bugging you, you can raise that even during the lecture discussion. Just send them through the chat box for our Cisco WebEx attendees and in the comment section for Facebook Live audience. Of course, we will try to address all your questions, but only the queries related to the session's topic shall be prioritized. Also, we will be featuring a local coffee entrepreneur, entrepreneur which is being managed after the lecture. Apologies, dear FBI audience, but only the attendees who joined via Cisco WebEx will be provided with certificate of participation, unless, of course, conditions are favorable. Attention to our Cisco WebEx attendees. Here are some additional house rules. The audio and video of the participants other than the speaker and the host, will be turned off. Please take the initiative to turn off your audio and video. Second, there will be a short break after the lecture. Again, kindly utilize the chat box to raise questions and concerns. Of course, you can also message us if you would like to address your, your questions personally. 
A direct message feature can be found in the chat box settings if you are to address your concern to a fellow attendee. Kindly take a moment to evaluate the activity upon the, at the end of the session. We will be sending the link at the chat box later. Please take note that a certificate of participation will be sent to you upon submission of the evaluation form. Please expect it and after a minute, but we'd also hope for your kind understanding should there be technical glitches, just like in the last session. We will be providing you a certificate of completion should you be able to attend the nine sessions here at Cisco WebEx with a badge of loyalty as our token. Just kidding. Only a certificate, no badges this time. Without further ado, allow me to introduce this session's speaker. Our speaker for today is a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Fine Arts and Design, majoring in Industrial Design. Just wow, right? From the University of Santo Tomas, and also became an intern at the Design Center of the Philippines. For the last five years, he used to be the creative director and instructor at the Grace Kids Private Limited in Singapore. At present, he is a designer and currently a, re a science research specialist too at the Packaging Technology Division of the DOST, Industrial Technology Development Institute. Let's now welcome our resource speaker for today, Mr. René Jetro Abari. Let's give him a virtual applause. Test mic. Test. Is it clear now? Okay, yes, sir, very clear. Yes, yeah. Paul. Loud and clear, Paul. I think I used my phone na lang eh. Okay, so back to start, everyone. Good morning, everyone. So now, um, good morning, everyone. My name is Rene Jethro Abari. I'm a packaging designer and label designer in packaging technology division at the OST. Uh, I work in Singapore as a graphic designer, a creative director, but it's a bit different because it's more on the graphic side. So ngayon nakafocus tayo sa label and uh, on packaging. So now first, on my first slide, my question for all like earlier is like, what is packaging? So it's a very very vague and broad um, word. Packaging. Ano nga ba ang packaging? So we have a lot of ideas in mind. Pero for me, packaging is this one simple product. This bottle. Sa Pilipinas, kahit lagyan natin ng langis o sa tricycle yan, alam natin anong bote yan. Coke. Never tayo magkakamali na Coke yan. It's because of the packaging is so iconic and it's so uh, different from others na alam natin Coke yan. Na kahit gayahin ng iba, hindi pa pwede kahit nga iba ang gumaya sa kanya, sasabihin natin Coke pa rin siya. So this bottle was designed 1915 by a bottle designer for them to differentiate their product to other competitors. So now, bakit nila ginawa yun? Kasi nagkaka-inferior na yung sales nila. Bumababa. Kasi ang dami ng competitors na kagaya ng bottles nila. And because if you're good, I think everyone will agree on this, if your product is good, a lot of will imitate. Especially your packaging para mabili to. Pero packaging, ano bang reason why we need packaging packaging has a lot of um um good things uh na may add sa product natin first ito tuloy tuloy lang po slide first is for you to contain your product next is for you to easily transport your product next is for you to have an aesthetic looks on your product Next is for you to protect your product. It's a very important thing is to protect your product. 
Next is for you to make it convenient for you to bring your product to anywhere. Next is to make it handy. Then next is for you to strategize your product. Now, why strategize? Because sometimes your product needs to be age appropriate. So if it's for kids, you need to design it more on kids will have an attraction on it. Okay. So next, the product will be higher on sales. Next is, you can use your packaging as your advertisement. Next, you can also have an identity for you to be recognized by all. Next is, to make it mobile for consumers. Okay? Pero, ayun kay Wikipedia, if it's more on technical side, if you want to read it. So, ito na sabi ni Wikipedia. Packaging is the technology of enclosing or protecting products for distribution, storage, sales, and use. Next is, it also said that packaging also refers to process of designing, evaluating, and producing packages. And lastly, it says that packaging can be described as a coordinated system of preparing goods for transport, warehouse, logistics. Sabi nga namin lagi, packaging is anywhere. If you will recall, kahit nung tayo mga tao, packaging, nakapackage tayo simula nung pinanganak tayo hanggang dalhin tayo sa huli. Nakapackage tayo. Hindi pwedeng hindi nakapackage. So lahat ng bagay sa mundo, nakapackage. So, next. Pero sa marketing world, ang packaging is iba pag tinakil mo sa marketing. First is attraction. Attraction is the packaging needs to make uh, the consumers get attracted to it or your product without even tasting or touching your product yet. Kasi sabi nga namin, it takes only two seconds for the consumers to decide kung yung product mo ba ang kukunin o hindi. Okay? Next is the interest. The promotion needs to be interesting for the client to pick up your product. So first, you need to draw their attention. The second is they need to have an interest of reading or looking at your product. Next is they need to have a desire. After looking at it, after reading it, they need to have the desire to purchase your product. And the memory is next because this one needs to have a recall. Your product needs to have to recall to all the consumers. <laughs> and last one, your action. Action is the buying motion of the consumer. They need to pick it up and go to the counter and pay it. So that's the IDMA for us. The action, interest, desire, memory, and action. Okay? So that's in marketing. So that's uh, what you need to take note pag kayo ay mag magpapagawa ng packaging. So this is the, these are the keys to effective packaging. Keys to effective packaging first, number one is you need to know your product. Okay, so definitely you saw these samples earlier. So, but I'm gonna make it again. This is the first sample that I saw in one grocery store. Now, I, I will say na lahat na pinapakita ko po dito is not to criticize them, okay? Wala pong mali sa packaging except we can make it, we can always make it better. So, wala po tayong kinikriticize dito. So, if one of your product is in my slides, hindi po kayo para criticize. It's more on for you to be better. Okay? So first, ito nga po, sabi ko, bigas ang nakalagay, pero ginawa niya generic yung kanyang lalagyan, na ang basa ng ibang tao, pag nagmamadali, eh, sugar. Pero pagdating nila sa bahay, bigas. So, nagkakaroon ng confusion. So, the next one, the next sample that I, I'm, I, I showed you guys is yung toothpaste. Na the client knows well the product because alam niya na ang kanyang product ay nakapagpatanggal ng stains ng coffee, cigarettes, and etc. Pero mali naman ang ginamit niyang uh, image. Ginamit niya ay coffee. So, people will think that it's a coffee product. So, you need to have a brand. So, dito tayo natapos kanina. Elmer's Glue is a very good branding. Kasi we all know that 
even if it's orange, blue, white, alam natin Elmer's blue yan. And sa shelves, yan ang usually nakikita natin sa sabon, sa mga detergent soap. Pero, ang nag-hit dito sa image na to is yung Tide. Yun yung nag-strike out sa lahat na yun ang magandang branding. So, that's the effective uh, branding. Hindi yung iba. Kasi yung iba medyo nag -clatter. So, next is, of course, the ever-famous Coke. Coke has a very good branding. Proven na po yan. Now, next, you need to know your target market. So, all of us here, I know you have your target market. Class A, Class B, Class C, masses. Now, why do we need to know this? It's because for you on how you design your packaging or your label. If it's too, um, if your class is Class A, even you put just a simple black background with a gold trimming, alam natin sa Class A yan. Why? Because the study namin, sabi nga, sa Class A, they don't mind the price. Not compare with the Class C, that they really check on the price. So if the people are checking the price, you need to have a simpler design and the packaging needs to have a cheaper cost. Okay? So next is, it is a cycle kanina, first impression last. So this is the look of consumers' eyes for the first two seconds sa grocery store. So the question is, paano ba nila makukuha yung product ko compared to other coffees? So yun, ang kailangan natin solusyonan with the packaging and the labeling side. Next, let your packaging work for you. So ito ang sinasabi ko lagi, your packaging is your silent salesman. You... You definitely know your product as uh, the owner of the company or the owner of the product. Alam niyo yun, alam niyo lahat. But the problem is you're not with your product if you're if the product is in the store. Wala kayo dun. So how will you let the people know na yun yung inyo is yung the best, blah, 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 ganyan. So the packaging needs to work for you. Next is, it's all in the name. Now, it's all in the name Dapat catchy, sabi. Pero try na iwasan po yung mga bagay na ipapakita ko later. So it's all in the name when you say baking powder, simple, baking powder, baking soda, 12 sugar cones, cola. Because sabi, which is itatakil ko naman mamaya sa mandatory labeling requirements, if kung anong nasa label, yon ang nasa loob ng product natin. Okay? So piloso po lang to, pero yun ang sinasabi sa label. Wala tayong kailangan gawin na parang magugulo pa yung client kung ano ba to. Okay? So next is, <coughs> excuse me. It's all in the name. So ito siya kung iiwasan natin. Try. Now, okay tong product na to. I've tried it. I've tested. Sobra sarap. The problem is, ang dami-dami niyang nilagay sa label niya. Which, tingin mo, pag uhaw ba ang, ang consumer, babasahin pa nila yan. So, it's a waste of printing material. It's a waste of effort. Pero, it's nice. Ito, mga iwasan din natin. Sir Chips. Bakit ginamit yan? Kasi si Katsi, be careful with my heart now, si Katsi before. So, they used it. Na, ayoko na lang sita. Okay. So, next is, urinal. Na, nakita namin to sa abroad. Urinal. Ang gandang pakinggan, but you need to make sure that in other language or dialects, hindi pangit pakinggan. Kala nyo ba yan lang ang mas pangit? What do you think of this? Picola. Sinang gaganahang uminom niya pag sa Pilipinas ka uminom ng ganyan, di ba? So, it's a bit funny, pero they tried it because maybe sa kanilang language is okay naman. So, if you think good enough na yung Picola, meron pang isa. Socks or socks. So, yun yung mga sinasabi ko na, na name na sana na iwasan. Now, next, show your true colors. Now, for show your true colors, simple lang naman yan. Kung anong kulay ng product mo, yun ang ilalagay mo. Not like what I, what I showed you here in the example. <clears throat> Strawberry juice, green. Orange juice, purple. Grape juice, red. It's a bit odd. Okay? 
in your product, in your case, you have coffee. So my advice is better use earth colors, like brown, red, um, brown, uh, yellow, dark yellow, like that. <clears throat> so next is slogan or tagline. It's a very effective marketing tool, ang slogan and tagline. I'm going to show you things na <clears throat> makapaisip kayo na, oo nga, no, parang kilala niyo na agad ang produkto with simple slogan lang. Like these samples. For example, is yung simple na McDonald's. So, a McDonald's, alam natin, I'm loving it. Simple. Yun lang. Nike, just do it. Microsoft, your potential or passion. So, yun yung mga slogan na sinasabi na with their slogan, kilala na ng tao kung sino sila. So, it's also a part of branding na mamaitake ka naman. Now, next, you need, your product needs to stand out with others in terms of container, graphics, communication, enhancement. Why container? Now, makikita natin iba minsan nag invest talaga sa packaging. Sobrang innovative ng look ng packaging nila. But of course, you need to invest on it. Pero, doon sila nakikilala. Sa graphics, that one is easy because everyone can design. Sinasabi ko lagi, every one of us can design even though you didn't study design. For as long as you know how to, to color match, for as long as you know to choose a perfect font, you can design. But, you always need to know the proper way of layouting and of course the standards that you need to follow. So next is, your packaging is your key to success. So I hope everyone is agreed with me with this. Na it's your key to success. Now, what I'm going to uh, present now is in design development process namin, what we're doing sa design team sa DOSD. So this is our design flow. We have five steps for it. Now first is the data ga the briefing or the inquiry. Or the data gathering. Yan yan. Next is the planning, design time, artwork, and production. Now if you guys will ask us to design for your product, you can always visit our office. And ito ang magiging flow. Now in our office, it takes like two months of designing. And after that, pero ito po yung mangyayari. Sa inquiry and briefing, ito yung nalalaman namin kung ano bang gusto ni client, kung ano ba ang lahat ng kailangan namin malaman sa product nila. So, nandiyan yung mga tatawagin namin sila, nandiyan yung mga uh, sasabihin nila yung gusto nila. Now, it always, for me, in designers' um, perspective, mas better kung sabihin niya sa amin yung gusto niyong design, um, design um, process. Oh, I mean, I mean, kung anong gusto niyong design or peg, in short. Kasi, ang pinakamahirap sa amin if the client always said na ikaw na ang bahala. Why? Because masayang oras pag nag-design kami, tapos pinakita namin sa inyo first draft and you will say, ah, no, uh, because ang gusto namin is ganito. So, it's gonna be harder for both of parties. Okay? So, if you will make a design for anyone, if you will ask anyone to design for you, make sure na alam na nila ang peg mo o yung taste mo. So, iisa lang ang design direction nyo. Now, next is the next slide is the planning. So, sa amin, meron kami tinatawag na if you visited our office or ask us for design, may nakita ka na kayong ganito, package design brief. So, lahat ng kailangan ay malaman needs to be input there. Like, company name, product name, because all the mandatories almost nandiyan na, which is mamaya, basta din itatakil natin yung 11 mandatories of the Philippines as of now. Now, next is key question. Ito ang mga tinatanong namin lagi pagkaupo ni client. It's like, who is your target market? Who is your target audience? Age appropriate? Geographic location? Gender? Economic status? What is the message? Ano bang gusto natin iparating sa audience? Kung anong mood? Ano bang kailangan natin ipakita na keyword na mag-co-connect mag sa kliyente? So, yun yung mga common questions na sabi namin. Ito importante sa lahat, especially for MSMEs. What is the budget? Okay? Usually, this part, dito natatapos ang usap sa budget. Usually, pag nag-usap ang budget na finish na, hindi na nag implement Pero, ang, ang, ang lagi namin sinasabi naman, it's an investment, one-time investment lang. 
Kasi if you design, yes, it might be pricey. Yung pay, lalo na ang printing, pricey. Pero, one time lang yan. In the follow niyan, mura na lagi. So, what is the budget and specification of the project? You need to know the dimension. Are you going to use black and white or monochrome? Or are you going to use two color or four full color printing? What substrate? Ano bang materialis ang gagamitin nito? Karton ba? Papel ba? Anong size of print run? Ilang number of pieces? Is there a specific deadline if we need to rush the design? Meron ba kayong launching or product or fairs or exhibits na pa-atenan? Can the client provide the creative direction? Ito siya sabi ko kanina. If you can have, like, you, you have in mind na may font kayong gusto ng gamitin, let us know. So, yan yung mga key questions din. I'll give you a sample case study na everyone can relate. Is yung kliyente namin from Cavite. Si Mr. Naseda, Naseda, which is yung Hakobina. So, everyone is familiar, hopefully, with this product kasi sabi nga nila, partner to sa coffee niyo. So, the client is La Noseda Food Products, Inc. from your region, Region 4 Cavite. The brand name is La Noseda. The product is the Hakobina Biscuits. Their packaging material before is OPP, CPP, and box. So, dalawang packaging yan. Sa loob ng box, meron pa silang um, primary packaging. Unique selling proposition nila is sila daw ang pioneer of Hakobina Biscuits, originally made from Cavite, 1947 pa. Kaso, the current product status is inferior in sales and low in exposures. So, yan yung naging problem nila. So, ang gusto ni client, ito. Ito yung sabi kong client direction. They, need, they want us to retain the logo kasi design pa to ng grandfather ni client. And it's patented last 1940. Remember, the patent nag expire po yan. So, sabihin nyo, pag na-patent na, hindi na pwedeng baguhin. Pwede pa po, after the expiration of the patent. Pwede niyo po ulit bagayin. Yep, correct po. Uh, for <clears throat> what they want now <clears throat> is to export the Hakobina abroad. So their target market is the Filipinos abroad, ages <clears throat> 20 and up. And they said the product characteristic is fresh and crisp, no preservatives, no artificial. It, you know, it discuss ko lang po to. If you're gonna put something like this, claims po ang tawag dyan. Yung mga crispy uh, preservatives, claims po yan. Make sure that when you put it on your label, yung po talaga yung magiging, sta, uh, stand, uh, magiging itsura ng product nyo pag nakuha ni client. Because if not, then magkakaroon kayo ng, ng, ng magkaiba sa dinideclare nyo. So, ito yung 5W and 1H, which is who, when, where, what, how, and why. So, ang target nila is females. I'm not sure why females, pero ito daw. Female ang target nila. <clears throat> 20 to 60 years old. At kailangan, iniinom lang, ikinakain daw to every snack time, which is, yeah. Could be sold in supermarkets sa US. They want us to <clears throat> have competitive image. <clears throat> and they want to update the look. Why? Para makapag-compete sila sa US market. So, a bit big leap ang ginawa dito ni Mr. Noseda. Pero, let's see kung anong nagawa namin dito. <clears throat> First, nagplan kami ng we need to assess the competitor in the target market. So, anong ba target market niya is US. So, the competitors that we had, we gathered is from the US. Number one competitor is yan, si Mrs. Fields. Yun yung first competitor namin. So, sa, bra, sa graph na kalagay dyan is nandun siya sa a bit low pa na commercial and female. Ang next is si Oreo. Yan ang next. Bakit ababa sa female pero nakita natin sa commercial, sobrang laki ng sales. Why? It's because even kids, they're eating Oreos. So nasan ngayon si Hakobina? Si Hakobina ay nandito pa lang. So nasan siya? Nasan yung dot niya? Yun. Nandyan si Hakobina. It's more on female pero zero pa. Almost wala pa sa commercial. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon, we need to determine the structure and packaging material. Now, I, I have here two packaging structure. One on the left is the lock and fold system, and one on the right is the fold and adhesive type. Now, ano ba ang pipiliin niyo dito? Ito yung sinasabi pagka 
gusto niyo ng budget wise. Sa kabila, sa left side, if makikita natin, mas malaki ang kinain niyang papel sa printing. Because ang daming flops, ang daming fold. But, it's gonna be easier sa mga tao para mabilis siya may fold. Not like sa adhesive na maliit nga ang printing style, pero you need to have manpower para magdikit niyan. Then you need to make to cure it, like idadry niyo pa. So ito yung mga things na you need to think when you're asking for a packaging the structure and material. The next is, the first step is the design time is develop a thumbnail or we need to scamp or scamping or sketching. Magsisketch lang kami muna and then tsaka namin siya ilalagay sa computer. So we need to computer generate it. <clears throat> so ito yung first. So nakita natin dito sa ginawa namin is meron siyang ang primary display panel niya is meron siyang vertical and horizontal. Why? It's because for the shelving. If you put it on the shelves, you can put it upright and you can put it na nakahiga. Now, not all products is advisable to have a two display panel because syempre, kung matatapon naman, kagaya ng milk, fresh milk, hihiga mo, huwag naman ganun. So, ito yung mga bagay na sampo. Sa coffee, mm, possible, pero usually, naka-upright ang coffee. So, ipapakita namin, ang, if we present namin si, sa client ang design, then we ask them for their approval. If wala nang revision, then approval sheet na. Approval, tapos na. Pwede namin i final design and they can print it na. So, this, uh, amen, is, this is um, as for the span of two months at least. <clears throat> so, this is the final presentation of the client's product. So, tinitree din namin siya, it's because um, it's, easy, it's always easier for client to approve something na nakikita nila. <clears throat> Ngayon, nina-mock up pa namin siya kasi it's always nice to touch it or feel, nafe-feel mo yung product mo na buo na. So, this is before the design of Apacobina, the sample case study, and of course, the after. Okay. So, hopefully, you guys appreciate this uh, um, sample case study. So, sa artwork, ito yung naging artwork namin. Then, we always, sometimes, we visit the printing as well. If nagpiprint na, nagpiprint run, sinasample namin. So, once the final artwork is approved, all protective watermarks and features is removed from the design. So, it's all yours na po. Kay na po ang may right talaga ng inyong label design. Now, you can always patent, uh, patent and trademark the logos and all. Pero yun po, it's up to you po. So, na-design na po siya naman yun. So, next is, skip na tayo sa next slide. Skip na yan. Production, skip na. Okay. Next is, ang inaantay natin, is the mandatory labeling requirements. Why do we have mandatory labeling requirements? Bakit ba kailangan natin to? It's because it's implemented by the FDA na we need to follow. Now, mandatory labeling requirements of the Philippines. Why of the Philippines? Because always remember na different co major con exporting countries, different ang mandatories nila. Pero sa amin sa DOST, which is we are trained by the uh, uh, PTTC, which is under DPI, we always put the layout sa middle ng US and European standards. Why? It's because ang iniisip lagi namin is at least if you will want to if you want to export your product, konti na lang ang twitches and revision na gagawin mo kasi naka-layout na ng proper way yung, yung layout mo. Sa class of Philippines kasi, wala namang layout for as long as nandun ang mandatory sa label mo, it's good. Pero hopefully, ang i-follow nyo po sa amin, ang i-follow nyo hopefully is yung um, layout na to discuss ko ngayon. So first is the product display panel which is your front. If you have two panel layout, ano bang dapat makita lang sa PDP or principal display panel? It's only the three. The big three is the product name, the brand name, and the net content. Now sa product name, you need to be specific. If it's roasted, you put roasted. If it's brewed, you put brewed. 
if it's powdered, if it's powdered, if it's ready to drink, ready to drink, if it's three in one, three in one. So you need to put it product name. Ko sabi ko nga kanina, polit ulit tayo. Is ko anong nasa label yon ang nasa loob. Sa net content naman. Now we have proper way of putting it. So we cannot put net uh, volume. We only put net vol. Or net con uh, net weight. We only put net WT. So yun lang yung mga nilalagay natin. So sa information panel, yun yung medyo madami. We have the list of ingredients in descending order of predominance, which is, it means ang una mong ilalagay is yung pinakamadami papunta sa paunti. Ang only capitalized letter here is the first letter of the ingredients, which is, for example, your ingredients is um, wheat. You put the W lang ang capitalized. The rest is small letters in separation of a comma. Allergen information. Now, we have different allergen lists from the, for the Philippines and other countries. So if you will export in other countries, you need to make sure you check the allergen information on the list ng kanilang country. Now, sa atin, most common allergens is the peanut, the milk, the wheat, etc. So yeah, and the rest. Next is the name and address of manufacturer or the package distributor. Incomplete address from the number to the building to the street, to the barangay, to the city. Now, kung mapapansin niyo po sa nilagay ko, ang list of ingredients, allergen, and name of manufacturer is magkakasama. Kasi sabi sa mandatory labeling requirements, these three needs to be in one single vision without any interference. Wala kayong ilalagay na picture sa gitna nila, sa pagkikita nila, dapat straight ang paglalagay lang nila. Now, usually, nilalagay ang country of origin next to the, uh, below the address. Pero bakit naka-red si country of origin? It's because hindi naman siya mandatory. Pero why do we need to put it? Para at least maalaman na it's from our country. So, mandatory is also the lot identification code or expiry date. Lot identification code is yung batchian. If all of you are familiar with the code, it's good. But if not, it's simply the batch number. If you roast one batch, that's the batch 001. Next batch is batch 002. Why? Why do we need this? It's because for the traceability. If something goes wrong with the batch one, all the batch one needs to go off the shelves. Hindi lahat iaalisin. So, yun lang ang reason but kung ba't may lot identification code is for traceability. Now, it's a mandatory as well yung usage instruction. Now, sa coffee, it's a very uh, number one thing na kailangan nyo. Kung paano timplahin ang coffee nyo. The best na pagtitimpla. So, usage instruction yun. So, you put, yun yung mga nakalagay na nakikita natin sa mga label. That's the things na nakalagay na in one cup of water, hot water, put two spoons, yun yun. Storage instruction, ito yung kailangan nyo ipates if you need. Pero sa storage instruction, sabi din sa mandatory now, that you need to have a specific temperature, uh, exact value. Hindi na pepede yung ano lang nakalagay. For example, is keep in room temperature. Yun lang. Hindi na pepede yun. So, for us to be safe, if if you're from Luzon, ang room temperature natin usually is up to safe tayo sa 30 degrees Celsius. So, nilalagay namin usually is keep at temperatures not exceeding 30 degrees Celsius. Keep frozen at negative 4 degrees Celsius. Or keep refrigerated at 4 degrees. So, you need to know this. Kung anong kailangan yung storage instructions sa kanila. Next is the nutritional facts. Yan ang kailangan natin. Ipagawa din. So, it's a mandatory. Now, babalikan natin ang list of ingredients. Paano yung coffee nyo? Na kailangan pa mami ilagay na coffee din? Actually, sa coffee, you don't need to put, if it's 100% coffee, you don't need to put any ingredients. Kasi gets na yun, na coffee lang siya. Now, next is, I think we don't need to recap. So, recap is what is packaging, etc. So, skip na po natin yan. Okay. Skip na po natin yan. Yan. Source of design inspiration. Where can we get design inspiration? 
So it's very simple and very obvious naman minsan na ang design inspiration is we can get it anywhere. Design books, magazine, um, tuloy lang tayo. Design books, magazine, um, packaging trends, it's very important. Now, the packaging trends, ito po, ito sasabihin ko na pala. Ang packaging trend na dapat pala natin sa, sa inyong coffee is yung one-way valve. Now, why one-way valve? Bakit nga ba? Because the recommended packaging for coffee should be a higher buyer, it's a high buyer barrier material. So with one-way valve packaging, it can release the carbon dioxide na nire-release ng coffee bean na may bad effect kasi sa lasa ng aroma kapag na-contain ang CO2 sa loob ng package. Kaya dapat yun lumalabas. So ang dapat ang advisable talaga for coffee is yung one-way valve. Now, ang question, bakit yung iba, they don't use one-way valve pero hindi naman nagbabulk o lumolobo ang packaging nila? Now, that's a good question. Pero, ang answer then is, the possible is, the possible answer is, yung coffee bean nila ay nakapackage na na matagal na nilang na-roast bago pinak. Kaya halos wala ng CO2 na nare-release ang coffee bean. Kaya kahit, kaya kahit wala, nang, wala siyang ginagamit na one-way valve, hindi na lumolobo yung package niya. Pero ang recommended talaga is one-way valve. And it will lead sa pagiging inferior quality and nung nakapak na walang valve. It's because mm, if you're a coffee lover, then you know na hindi na siya freshly roast prior to packing it. So one-way valve can also be an indicator na freshly roasted pa ang inyong coffee bean. So yun yung magiging laban nyo. <clears throat> yun ang reason why nagwa one-way valve. So back to our slide. Now, may question pa pala. Ang question is, bakit yung mga Nescafe and the rest, blah, blah, blah. Now, so the Nescafe, this product, they undergo sa intensive process na like spray drying. Kaya, dead na yung mga, kumbaga, dead na yung cells ng coffee nila na hindi na siya nag emit ng CO2. Yun ang reason. Kaya, yung mga Nescafe at mga 3-in-1, nakapack lang ng hindi naka one-way valve. Yun lang ang reason. <clears throat> so, back to our slides. Cookbooks. Now, bakit cookbooks? Now, cookbooks and props is because we need to get an idea on how to have an image on your label. Now, ito, foodscapes lang. Another sample that we can, we can just click it. Na lang yung mga samples na yan. So, ito, pinapakita ko lang naman dito sa slides na to. Yeah, tuloy lang po. Ang, ang pinapakita ko lang dito is han, how can you create a better look sa packaging nyo it, in terms of the illustration and images. So yan, so kuha ka lang sa mga ideas sa mga existing commercial photos or existing sa Google, lahat yan, sa website. <clears throat> now, next. Now we'll move on to the next presentation. Now our next presentation is all about design inspiration sample case study. Ito yung mga ginawa namin na papakita ko sa inyo kung ano ba magiging case study, ang maging design inspiration namin. This is Imelda. It's a client before. It's Sweet Tamarind. Now, ang gusto ni client is ito ang design inspiration namin. Ito yung peg niya. Gustong gusto niya yung look ng dried mango na to. Yan. Gustong gusto niya yung dried mango na yan. So, what we did is we designed something na pinagsama namin yung existing niya at yung inspiration niya that's the reason why we came up with this design. So, compared to before and after, I think naging successful naman yung aming pag, paggawa nun. So, sa next design inspiration, ipapakita ko sa inyo, is this Galletas by Coffee Clutch. Now, it's a very simple na magugulat kayo lahat na yun lang pala ang naging design inspiration ito. Saan to? Sa old Nokia phone. Old Nokia phone, makikita natin yung slash mark na yun. Doon lang niya nakuha ng designer namin before. Doon nakuha yung design ng Gayatas packaging or label, uh, graphics. Simple, right? Now, next. This one. Yung fruitations na, na, na kliyente namin. Ito ang naging design sample namin. Pero gusto ni client yung kanyang apo ang ilagay sa label namin. Yan yung apo niya. Ito yung graphics ng kanilang katutubo or ng tribe nila. So, 
you think you know up now man so another peg by the client na ginawa namin na branding niya kaya ito na yung naging branding nila so nagkalubig wine siya and the rest is we just change the color family look na siya Now another design inspiration of the kind of iconic bottle. Now, bakit tingin niyo naging ganyan ang design ng Coca-Cola bottle? Kasi nag-isip ang mga designer nito before na anong ibig sabihin ng Coca? Wala silang makuha. So they just look for the sounds like ng Coca. So they just got the design of the Coca fruit. So now you know na yan ang the reason why naging ganyan ang shape ng Coke bottle. Kaya may groove din. It's because of the Coca. That's the inspiration. So basic labeling formats, ito lang naman yung format kung saan ginagamit ang mga label. Now, tuloy-tuloy lang tayo. Now, first is the stick-on labels, which is very famous for everyone. Stickers. Yan ang pinaka um, uh, cheapest na pwede natin magawa for labels, especially for starting up. Next is headers, which is uh, coffee. Minsan ginagamit din yan if naka- Uh, OPPCPT lang naman siya. Next is yung mga hang tags, which is hindi naman usually ito ginagamit, pero pwede mo rin gamitin. Pero usually nakikita mo ito yan, yung mga nakasabit-sabit lang. Yan yung hang tags. Next is yung inserts. Yan, sikat sa atin yan. Yung mga inserts na yan, mga nasa loob ng, ng plastic. And of course, ito yung if medyo kaya mo na is yung direct print now direct print you can have it in five uh, five materials like you can have it in a carton box you can have it in a aluminum aluminum you can have it in tin glass in plastic bottles and flexibles so yan so now next is branding and even ang test of branding so i need everyone to please bear with me ng konting minutes na lang kung branding na tayo. Patapos na tayo. So, what is branding? Sabi, ito daw ang branding. Makikita tayo, dami-dami. Again, branding is very, very wide. Ang wide ng scope ng branding sobra. Na sinasabi din namin na ang branding is like naming your child. Sabi nga namin, ang branding, kailangan pag-isipan ng buwan kaysa sa design. Kasi mas mahirap ang branding. Pero, Kinid, uh, ito yung magiging magdadala sa business mo, brand mo. Now first, magbe-break muna tayo. Kailangan natin maglaro. So please everyone, hands on your keyboard. Get ready to answer. Sana mag-answers kayo kasi mag-game lang tayo ng konti. So first, yan. Everyone, please guess kung ano pong logo to. Very good. Galing. Next po. Thank you very much for being ano po, active sa ating discussion. Now, next, ito. Ano naman po ito? Wow. Galing ni Sir Alvin. Sir Alvin, thank you sa pagsagot. This one. Chapa chups. Very good. Chapa chups. Chapa chupa chups. Galing. Next one. Ang mga moviegoers dyan, alam na alam yan. Nakakadami na si Sir Alvin. Ah. So, si Ma'am Ronaline, thank you din po. At si Ma'am Paula, alam din nila. Next is, yan. Wow, alam din. So next is, let's see kung sinasagot na ito. He's gonna be the first one to answer this. Sirit na po. Clue, an ice cream company po. Kunti 
<laughs> this one is a hagen das po. Hagen das po yan. Hagen das. Yan, hagen das po. Gusto ko yung cool ano eh, Don Eric sa Chaka Contest. Gusto ko yan. Hagen das. Next is, yan, what's this po? Levi's, tama? Next is, this one. Definitely favorite ng mga anak niyo to. Ayun, sinagot na ni sir. Si Lace. <laughs> okay, then Lace. Next is, yan. Marlboro. Ang bilis na chair ko dun ah. Next is, yan. Sa mga sporty dyan. Monster. What we have here next is, Nestle. Yan. May mga young at hearts. Sesame Street. Tama. What, what we have here is the next one is. Ito. Medyo I think may magkakamali na dito. Yan na. Sinasabi ko na. May Swiss Army. Okay. It's because may answer naman dyan. Kaya nagkakamali tayo dito. It's because it's a brand by the nation. Nation brand to eh. Pero ang correct answer po sa logo na yan ay Swatch. It's a Swiss company as well kasi. So, tama rin naman na Swiss. So, next is Red Cross. Punta tayo sa local. Oh, no. Nabuksan na. Okay na yan. Nabuksan na yung nagaraya. Ay, bali. Ayan. Ito alam na alam. Siyempre, SM. Tuloy-tuloy lang tayo sa mga local. Kasi sa local, medyo madali sa atin ito. Ayan. Mga taga Santa Rosa dyan. Asia Brewery. Tama? Next is Ito. Like sample ng mga tagline na sinasabi ko, masarap kahit walang sauce. Yun yung mga tagline nila. Pero may lumaban dyan. Yung sabi nila, hindi masarap, pero okay na. Di ba meron ng ganun? Pero, yan. ABS-CBN. Next is, syempre, kung meron yan, <laughs> correct man, Paula, wala na nga po. Sa GMA, correct. Next is, yan na, ang pinakatakutan ng lahat. Si Judith, yung Meralco. Ah. So next is, malapit na po tayong matapos na ito. Manila Bulletin. Very good, si sir. Ito. BDO. Okay, next. Mga taga-kagayan dyan. Yan, Del Monte. Now, Del Monte is a very good brand na kilala na over the world. Ito. Zesto. Correct. I think konti na lang slide sa game natin. Yan. Ito, nagkakaubusan ito recently lagi sa grocery. Hindi ko alam kung bakit. Yakult. And the next slide is When I was a kid, I used to Play this with um, sipa. Yan yung amin lagi. Flat tops. Correct? I think tapos na. Hindi pa ba? Ayan. Meron pa pala. Chalk nut. Very good. Next is? Nips. Ang gagaling natin sa chocolates. Ah. Next is? At alam na alam natin ang slogan nito. The Fresh Maker. Oh, yan ang slogan niya. So, ito. Everyone. Ito, dahan-dahan lang sa pag -ano. What is this po? Anyone can answer? Correct si Ma'am Abby. Now, Lea Bernal, Ma'am Lea. Pentel Pen is a brand. Marker is yung tawag po dito. Eh, ito pong next picture. Wafer sticks. Or, sabi nga, dapat exact, chocolate wafer sticks. Now, some say we'll say stick. Oh, correct, Ma'am Razel. Yun po usually yung sinasagot stick. Oh, but it's a brand. Ito yung sinasabi lagi namin na kinainan ng brand name 
Now, na-experience nyo ba dati nung mga bata tayo? Pasabihin ng mga lola nyo. Bumili ka nga ng Colgate, yung close-up. So, yun yung mga kinain na tayo ng brand names. So, brand names, yun na nag nagpapalit na sila sa product name. So, yun yung ibig sabihin, good yun. It means good branding yun. So, next. I'll show you one more na good branding is with this. With this number. What is this? People will say, a sneakers, a shoe. But, if lalagyan natin yun ng ganito, alam na agad natin kung anong brand niya. So, gets niyo po ang branding? Now, next. So, ano nga ba talaga ang branding? Ang branding, in other words, it's the identity of your product because it carries its own meaning. It serves to differentiate the product from the others. It is constantly recognized by the people. It describes products and advantages. Advantage nyo pag nakilala na kayo. Yun yung sinasaya ka kayo ng memory sa IDMA. Pag naalala ng mga tao yung product nyo, by just a visual of it, good na ang branding nyo. Now, next is, okay. branding can be your name, your symbol, your colors. Now, for example, ito yung mga napakita ko sample ng branding. Um, okay. Next slide, please. Oh, colors and layouts, logo, symbol. Yeah. Colors, layout. Sa colors, ang sample branding sa color na very effective is ang shell. Ano bang ginamit nilang color? Yellow and red. Alam natin pag yellow and red, shell na yan. Sa layout, alam natin pag mga layout, eh, mga, for example, sa Coke again, yan yun. Pag contour bottle, Coke na yan. Sa logo, alam natin pag bubuyog, Jollibee. Pag sa, sa local fast food. Sa symbol, sample dyan, is yung mga kotse. Alam natin lahat ng symbol ng cars. Sa design features, yan yung mga iba pang features ng packaging. Now, next is, sa recap, a good brand name has this characteristics yung sinabi ko kanina. It needs to have the meaning, to differentiate, recognize, describes product advantage, and etc. etc. So, yan ang good brand name. So, Everyone, if you don't have a brand name, you need to think of your brand name very good. Now, good brand name here in the Philippines, I must say, Jack and Jill. Pag sinabi yung Jack and Jill, alam na lang lahat si Chiri yun. So, yun yung mga sample ng brand name na, wika, why legal? Makikita natin, why legal? It's because in branding, you need to always check if may may-ari nga nito sa BNRS, sa DTI. So, before kayo magpa-design ng logo ng brand name nyo, or magpa-design or mag-conceptualize ng brand name nyo, Pag naisip nyo pa lang yung brand name nyo, i-check nyo na agad muna sa internet if may may-ari na ba nito. Kasi if wala pang may-ari, then go ahead. Pero if may may-ari na, sayang naman ang pinagawa nyo. Diba? So always check first. Now later do sa aking case study of coffee branding namin na ginawa sa office, makikita nyo kung paano namin chinect yung mga brand name. Usually brand name, you need to have at least more than one concept of brand name. Kasi i-eliminate mo na yung iba dyan. So next is this one, this brand. Na pinakita ko tong brand na to is for you to see na bakit nagbabago ng branding ang isang company. Na mapansin niyo po, 1898 to 1905 to the current logo of Pepsi. Pasimple nang pasimple, paiba-iba ng shape. Bakit kaya? One simple reason is maybe one reason is inferiority of sales. Nababa. Next reason design trend. Correct si Ma'am Paula. Makasunod sa trend. Na yan ang susunod na reason. Trend. Sa trend kasi, kailangan mag-follow ka lagi sa design trend na nangyayari sa mundo. Now, makikita natin ngayon, miski sa mga iPhones, ang mga Android and iPhones nyo, makikita nyo yung mga icons. Dati may mga shadow, ngayon flat na lang lahat. So, that's the design trend. Sa LBC, nakikita. Pero, this one, you need to be careful as well. If you rebrand your pro your company, your product, if you rebrand it, make sure magiging successful to. Kasi you always rebrand for you to be better, hindi para mawala ang sales natin. Okay? So, yan. So, next ko, nagpapakita sa inyo, ay ang aming ginawang Philippine coffee. So, this is the last presentation pala. 
sa Philippine co- Philippine coffee na gina ah, nasira na tayo sa F. Philippine coffee na ginawa namin. Tinanong namin muna, what is a brand? Nag-isip kami na alam niyo yung I love New York na brand. So I love New York na brand is okay yon na even SG ginawa nila I love SG. So why not do it sa Philippines? So ito yung nagawa ng mga tao. Nagawa sila ng ganyan, I love Philippines. Madami namang naka-appreciate, madami bumenta na this company, they evolve on making a new design na gumawa ng ganitong design. Na, ang dami nakakita sa inyo, may, madami na, siguro may nakabili sa inyo ganyan. Na nakita natin kahit sa Hollywood, sinusuot na rin ng mga Filipino. Ano naging target market nila nito? Ang naging target nila nito is yung mga Filipinos abroad. They are proud Filipino, so they will buy this. So simple as that. Now, next is, but why brand is so difficult to define? Bakit napakahirap nga naman, no? Brand lang, hirap to define. It's because ang laki-laki sobra ng scope ng branding. Sabi ko kayo na, branding is color, layout, etc., etc., etc. Ang laki na scope ng branding. That's why it is so difficult to define. Now, next. Why is a brand important? Bakit nga ba important ang brand? Pwede namang walang brand, di ba? Pero, it is very important because it's on the relationship of the consumers. Now, next please. So, yan. Correct ulit si Ma'am Paula because the branding and ipopromote iba ibenta sa akin and its relationship to consumer. So, yan ang reason why it is very important yung branding. Yung relasyon nila. Kasi tayong mga owner, tayong mga owner, wala naman tayo, tayo nakikita eh. Pero yung branding nyo, sila yung nagsuserve sa inyo. The brand also, it helps you to increase the sales and the tourism. For example, my tourism is the Philippine brand. It helps the tourism of the Philippines. They know, people know the Philippines. Even foreigners, they wear the I love Philippines because nagsuot nyo si Napakyaw. So, susuot din nila. So, the tourism is getting hot-listed. How can we achieve a strong brand? This is a very good question. Paano nga ba tayo? Now, first is, you need to have an exposure. Every small things and no mga bago pa lang, you need to have an exposure. By what? Number one, advertising. You need to invest on your advertising. Second is the word of mouth. If you say, I'm going to say, memory yan. Next is the quality. Now, kahit tandaan po natin, kahit may advertising tayo at word of mouth, but your quality lacks, then hindi na po mauulit ang inyong consumer sa inyo. So, this three needs to be all together. To spread the good news by the internet. Now, ang daming platforms. May Facebook, may Instagram, may Twitter, and ngayon may TikTok pa. Now, next is, with international note personalities, kailangan nyo maggamit ng mga tao na kilala sa buong mundo. Now, pag anilagay natin yung mga kapitbahay lang natin, hindi mabibenta yan. Pero syempre, you need to put people na kilala, especially sa buong mundo, para hindi ka nakalimit na dito ka lang sa atin. But before that, understand first your business. It's like knowing your product well. You also need to understand your business. Now, bakit namin napiling i-brand ang coffee before? Ito, facts to mga sabihin ko. Kasi before, we are ranked number four coffee supplier in the world. Now, alam, hopefully alam natin lahat yun. As, kasi Philippines is one of the best places to grow coffee trees, especially in the highlands. Now, sa Philippines, we have the rarest and the most expensive, which is yung civet coffee. Yan ang pina-expensive sa mundo. Meron tayo niyan. So, why coffee again? but not iba brand of coffee? Kasi, to help the coffee farms at coffee farmers. We have four kinds of varieties of coffees in the Philippines. Namely, Liberica, yung Barako, Arabica, Excelsa, at Robusta. This is the common coffee processes na ginagawa sa Philippines. Picking, processing, wet process, dry process, semi-dry process, milling, hulling, polishing, cleaning and sorting, grading, other steps, aging, decaffeination, storage, and roasting. The common process traditionally is this, picking, strip pick, selective pick, wet process ferment, and the rest to the roasting. 
So how can we help them? Paano ba natin sila matutulungan? So kailan nag-isip ang team namin na ano bang pwede natin gawin and anong pwede natin i-goal para matulungan ang mga farmers at ang coffee farms. So ito ang tinisip namin. We need to brand a coffee. So ito yung ginawa namin. So first, we need to help the coffee entrepreneurs. Kayo yun. So we need to help you guys para pag na-help namin kayo, kayo ang tutulong sa farmers and coffee farms. At the same time, it will help to promote the country. It will help to provide jobs for the Filipinos. And lastly, ang tourism natin is magiging worldwide. So, yun, with this help with you guys, matutulungan natin ang bansa natin din. So, we need to know the target market. Now, everybody here definitely knows kung sino ang target market nila. So, your target market is this. You need to identify them. You need to listen next and understand them. So that's the target market that you need to know. Maintain the good quality. It's a must. So sa packaging design, konti na lang po. Bear with me ng konti. It doesn't end with a logo and the design. Tandaan po natin yan. Hindi po kaya nakadesign na tayong logo, okay na. Hindi po kaya nakadesign na tayong design, okay na. You need to think out of the box. You need to stay out of your comfort zone. So, you need to look for the competitors in the market. So, ito, ang mga competitors sa market na pwede natin makita na na gusto ng ibang tao, na madaming sales, maganda packaging, then you need to know kung ano ba yung binabrand nyo. Sabi ko nga, Philippine coffee. So you need to know what is the Philippines sa other countries. What is the Philippines when you type it in Google? So ito yung lalabas sa Philippines. So we need to collect ideas based on your research. Now, ito ang ginawa namin. Nakita natin yung mga katutubo because of the highlands to to para mapakita na highlands sila yung mga patterns ng highlands yung katut ng yung mga native way ng pag-inom ng coffee which is sa bamboo Fla uh, map of the Philippines and of course flag natin and yung baybayin at alibata these are the list of brand names na naisip namin the Philippine uplands the Philippine highlands and the Philippine hilltop Yung sinabi ko kayo na, you need to check it sa EBNRS, isearch nyo kung meron na. If meron na, then sadly, hindi nyo pwedeng gamitin. If yung lahat ng naisip nyo is meron ng, balik po tayo. If lahat ng naisip nyo ay meron ng uh, may, may are o nakapatent na, then, o nakapag-register, I'm sorry, eh hindi nyo na po pwedeng gamitin yun. So you need to think. This one, three lang ginawa namin. But sometimes, you need to make five, six, seven, for as long as maging catchy siya. You need to make it authentic. By using our Alibata and by buying, we thought of magiging authentic ang ating product. Now, I think agreeable naman ito na magiging, ano siya, authentic pag nilagyan natin ng buy-buy na sariling atin. So these are the logo concepts that we had. This design is created by our senior designer before, which is uh, Adrian Joseph Eloriaga, which is, ito yung ginawa niyang dinevelop, which is the Philippine Uplands, Highlands. Then we ask people, to choose kung alin ang maganda dito. And ang napili nila is the Philippine Highlands, which is this one. Next, please. Now, how do we create this logo? First, the headgear of the Katutubo. Next is the sun. Next is the mountain. And the Alibata. So, it's not just a logo. May story ang logo lagi. Hindi tayo pwedeng mag-isip lang ng logo na ganito lang. Walang story. So, this is a sample na Logo itself, may story na ang kaping ito ay nagmula sa napakagandang bundok ng Pilipinas na pinangangalagaan ng mga kapatid namin katutubo. So, this is just an example. Na ito kasi, yung ginawa namin ito, sa Highlands, tinga may ginawa. Now, it's not just a logo, it has a story behind it. Now, the concept is this. The Philippine map, we need to have so we can recreate it with the use of the coffee beans. <clears throat> nice, right? Pero, let's see. The concept is yung bamboo, kailangan natin lagyan ng photography ng konti yan para maging kaaya-aya. Design conceptualization. Now, first, we need to make a background. So, ito makikita natin kung yung mga ginamit natin mga icons and mga, mga things na nabuo natin to design concepts. Pagsasama-samahin natin para makreate ng isang authentic packaging. So, design conceptualization, we first start with the background. 
then we add up okay next slide we add up the contents of it so we have the coffee cup and the philippine beans so in short we have a packaging now ngayon kailangan namin tong gawin sa local market kasi ito ginamit natin to as a philippine brand so we look for someone or some clients na mag adapt nito and we we managed to find one in Kalinga which is Kalinga which is the Cafe Primera so ito yung ginawa namin sa Cafe Primera Cafe Primera we conceptualized three design up back muna please we conceptualized three design so nung nag Japan we ask people around Japan Japanese people in other countries may fair kasi doon to choose a design na gusto nila which is makes a survey in short and ang nanalo dyan is the orange one so yung orange yan ang napili so we created two structures okay so makikita na two structures yan, but the same concepts we have the beans the Philippine map beans the cup of bamboo and the rest makikita natin may story yan may story sa behind important kasi sa coffee is may story is because all coffees got um, origins and things and then i think and i think uh, i think it's better as well to put yung mga elevation and the rest para intact talaga yung informations ng kape nyo kasi if you're a coffee drinker i think it's a must it's a plus na malalaman mo din kung ano talaga nang galing ang coffee mo pero ang problem may focus group before ma out ang branding namin is may focus group muna from consolidated by DTI TOSD the rest of the academy and the rest so may focus group ito ang suggestion nila the suggestion is they want it more simpler at minimalism lang minimal lang ang design they want it to look they, they want it to have a premium look they want to change the bamboo cup then you don't sabi nila you don't kailangan gamitin yung philippine colors or symbols in your design kasi alam na naman daw the word philippine is okay na so, of course, as designer, we need to follow what they wanted. And definitely, it, it will be good naman. So, ito yung ginawa namin. So, the flare or the smoke, it also represents as the Philippine map na lang. Then, we have the coffee bean pa rin. Then, we make it a premium look. What I said before, premium means your structure mo dapat kakaiba. Ito, sexy yung structure niyan. Then, you need to have gold stamping premium so it means class a tayo dyan. so yan yung capre primera look so we put the sunset as well because tayo ang pinakasikat na sunset na kulang tayo ng cup so with different nagiba tayo ng cup yung mas mas premium ay chura saka natin nilagay so ito yung naging final concept from the design a all the way sa final concept ito na push ito na yung na come up namin design solution and also we also included a slogan which is bring home the excellent aroma and taste bring home means philippines so bring home the excellent. so that's the tagline so this is what we had now recently last year even though a few years ago na to, this packaging has been awarded as the packaging excellent award sa uh, last uh, last trade fair so na current polish ng award so makikita po natin yung box niya hindi siya basta square box may ano siya may flop siya na para maging contour so it's the structure. So the implementation and launching na introduced na po siya sa Philippine Coffee Summit last time. And na launch na rin po siya nung last um nung sa Bohol, uh, next please, nung product exhibition sa Bohol. So other sample of works na previous clients, logo branding labels and approval sheet. I think five slides na lang po to, uh, um the logos. Okay, back na sa padaan na lang. Padaan na lang. Yan, yung mga ginawa namin sa Infanta. Next is yan. Approval sheet po, ganyan. Yung sinasagong pag-approve na. And lastly, yung mga success story ng, ng mga client ko. Kasi ang point of view ko po lagi, my point of view here is like, my client's success is always my success. Kasi if magiging successful yung design ko for my client, successful din ako as a designer. Effective siya. So ito po yung mga clients ko. If magiging familiar kayo sa mga kanila. So, cucumber, 
Tapos si Vet Coffee. And lastly, yung from your hometown, Cavite, yung client ko na si... Client ko na si... Amiras. Yan. Si Amiras is naging... It has been my client for over five years now. Okay. Next, we also had a branding branding um, launched na, na brand launch, yung Tubiran Lakban, which is uh, Mindanao po. Yan is to help yung mga Maranao sa nung nagkaroon ng siege. Sila yung mga tulungan natin doon. So, yun yung ginamit natin, mga ano siya, textiles na nilagyan natin ng brand kasi wala silang brand pa nun. So, next, nilagyan siya ng, yan, ginawa natin sila ng branding para ma-uplift lang yung kanilang brand. So, from nothing, nagkaroon sila bigla na yung brand. So, that's the help of the branding sa product nyo. Magkakaroon ng significance at saka magkakaroon siya bigla ng dating. So, na-launch na rin po siya. So, that's our undersecretary, Yusek um, Rowena Guevara. And thank you very much po. And yan po yung aking discussions for today. Salamat. Bring back the aroma home. Diba? Ang ganda ng brand. Ang ganda ng uh, learning sa branding, no? And then, as well as, as uh, sa packaging. So, with that, I am happy to share lang, no? Since I'm, I'm one of the beneficiaries trained on inter interaction property and then technology commercialization by DOST Ren. Since before, I was a G GIA personnel, no? No university. One uh, consideration is having your technology trademark, no? Or service mark through uh, our intellectual property office. So, so as to avoid uh, being stolen by the competitors and uh, be recognized under the law. On the bright side, no, sir, and according to one, of our, to one of our participants here, it is to elevate elevate your product or services to create further demand, no, whether you are a government or private enterprise, micro, small, or medium enterprises. One of the examples is here, sa NCR deck, is their technology on accelerating plant growth known as cellula. Ayun po. Short break muna tayo. Thank you, Sir Jetro, for that creative and informative discussion of yours. You're you guys, welcome. how's the visualizations going on? Have you thought of your own brands already? Anyone? In chat? If wala pa, <laughs> don't worry, sooner or later, who knows, right? We'll have the labels we envision to have. But now, let those questions come in. Just type it in, in the chat box for our Cisco WebEx, or in the comment section no, for our Facebook Live. For now, no, as part of the short break, let us first get to know another local coffee enterprise. Coffee Genie. Nandito, nandito po ba si, si Miss Kisha? Miss Kisha? Are you there? Yes po. Ayan. You now have the virtual floor to share your story and your brand. So I am Kisha po from uh, Taguig Science High School, currently a uh, science high school, senior high school graduate po. So, I am running this business for our, my coffee business for uh, two months na rin po as of now. We started on uh, last ECQ lang po nung uh, uh, June lang po. So uh, we are on our second month lang po right now. So Coffee Genie, uh, we started by the brand name na Coffee Genie because my mother's name is I Jean and my second name is Jean. So kapag yung Jean nilagyan ng Y sa dulo, it sounds like Genie na nasa, nasa kettle na kapag nirabo, lumalabas, lumalabas yung genie doon. So that's when uh, we realized na genie ng coffee genie can be uh, put together. Uh, related siya sa, sa brand's uh, tagline namin na granting your coffee desires. So kapag kinunek natin siya, it's uh, a genie can grant your wishes but coffee genie grants your coffee desires. So that's the, the that's the concept of our brand. So if uh you can see our logo po, our logo uh, consists of a cup and a coffee steam. But the coffee steam symbolizes din po yung uh, genie steam na 
uh, very uh, famous po siya na, na graphics. So that's when that's when we uh, opted na to pursue the brand name and to invest really in a graphic artist para po ma magawa yung logo namin. So our target market is especially ngayon yung mga uh, nag online classes and yung mga work from home work from home na on the go professional. So we offer products that is a uh, very uh, one two three is easy to easy to prepare as one two three. But our coffee is a uh, coffee. So uh, our coffee po is local source from Lipa Batangas. We have robusta, excelsa, arabica, and baraco. So uh, as you can see po, dahil nga po ang target po, target market po namin ay mga uh, on-the-go professionals and students. So we have coffee drip bags here, yan. Coffee, coffee tea bags and coffee drip bags. So you just add hot water and then ready na po. And then of course, our best seller is yung mga cold brew series po namin. So yan, ito po yung mga cold brew series po namin. We have uh, six flavored and two classic blacks, yung Arabica and yung black po namin. So, if you wish po to visit our uh, business, our page, kindly uh, type lang po sa Facebook, Coffee and Genie na G-E-N-E-Y. And we have Facebook page and very active and very responsive po kami. And we also have Instagram at coffeegenie.eh. Thank you po. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Ms. Kisha. No? What a wonderful uh, brand name and product. Sir Jen, pakita niyo po ba yung product ni uh, Ms. Kisha? I didn't see me, pero yung dinescribe niya, maganda. Nakip, nagustuhan ko yung ano, yung sinasabi niya sa genie part. Okay yun. Pero hindi ko nakita yung design. Okay. Saan, hindi ko nakita yung design. Yes, sir. Um, maybe, uh, if there are some opportunity or time, tinan- makikita po natin sa kanilang uh, web page. Ah, oh, wait lang. Natin. Moving on. Age is just a number, right? Let's be like Miss Kisha. Again, thank you very much for sharing a piece of your dream, which turned into reality. For those who are envisioning of having your own business, kung di tayo kikilos ngayon, kailan pa, di ba? Dear consumers, I'll not get to saying this. Kaya magmay na po tayo sa sariling kape natin. Again, we would like to acknowledge our participants from Benguet in the north and Cotabato in the south. Moving on to the question and answer part of this session, we have some tag questions on your screens. This is specifically addressed to Sir Jet, our research speaker today. Sir Jet, our first question would be coming from Mr. Consultado from TESDA, Eastern Samar. He asks, what is the importance of branding and packaging? Sir Jet? Um, the answer there is like, what is the importance of branding and packaging? Now, branding it can identify your product. It can differentiate your product to your competitors. In packaging naman, the importance of your packaging is it can protect and secure your product na mag siya for longer time. And at the same time, sabi ko nga, if one-way valve ang gagamitin mo, which is yun ang suggestion namin and advice namin, if one-way valve, it can also be the indicator of your freshness sa uh, product mo. Kasi naka one-way valve ka. It means freshly roasted ka. So, yun yung um, importance and benefic- benefit of the branding and packaging sa product mo. So, yun ang pwedeng maging ano niya, edge mo siya. Thank you, Sir Jet, for supplementing your lecture through that response. Another question will be coming from Mr. Pereira from Earthman Consulting. He's asking, Sir, what are the brand standards or basic formats for coffee, if there are any? Um, there's none naman, pero sa basic formats lang. I think sa formats is like, yun nga, sinabi ko, it's better na i-include nyo yung lahat ng information about your coffee. Kung, yung, eh, kung may elevation ba na kailangan kailagay. So, all the technical. I, I'm not the 
I'm not into the technical part of this because sa design ako pero yun nasa yun lang yung tingin ko na sa for for the information it's better to put like elevation kung kung kail kung origin yung age nito so I think mas ma appreciate ng mga consumers and drinkers yon yung may mga ganong clients sa especially these days nagbabasa na lahat eh nagbabasa lahat ng information mga health conscious na yun mga tao so yun lang Okay. Thank you, Sir Jet, for your response. Another question will be coming from Miss uh, Dulia Vin from CBSU Bacoor Campus. Ayon. So what is According to her, mm -hmm. yes, sir. What is the most effective packaging for a naked product? As Ayon, for a naked product, which is the coffee, I think yun nga, ang advice namin is the one-way valve. So, so one-way valve naman, madaming ano yun, If you want. If you want the one-way valve to be put in a box, pwede. Pero pwede rin one-way valve na pwede mo lagyan na lang ng sticker. But yun lang, yung one-way valve material itself, yun na talaga yung the best and effective packaging for the product of coffee. Thank you, Sir Jet. Further questions? We're... Okay, another one from our, uh, from our university. What would you recommend for those people who want to start coffee business no? in terms of the quality of packaging materials that will be used? Or are there any other criteria, sir? What would I recommend for those people who wanted to start a coffee business in terms of quality of packaging? Now, first, you need to, if you, if you will just start a business for your coffee business, first, of course, you need to really, really research on the product that you're going to market. Then, Next na yung quality of packaging materials, which is packaging material, yun lang naman. Sabi ko nga, yun lang lagi ang advice namin is one-way valve if it's the roasted ones. Are there any criteria? Wala naman. For as long as you know your product, then you know it's gonna be easier for you. So, kaya yun lagi number one. You need to know the product. Then, everything will follow naman. Yes. Yes, sir. Correct, sir, Jet. Lalo na kanina, no, nabanggit mo. You have discussed the mandatory requirements, no, set by the, mm -hmm. our government naman. Thank you, sir. Sir, here are also some of the questions from WebEx audience, no, just now. We have here from Miss Paula, no. Sir, what do you think is the most effective branding strategy if I'm going to promote coffee product in a company or uh, various offices yata ito, sir? Thank you, Paul. Branding strategies. Hmm. That's a good question. I think that's a big question. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see. Where is it? How? Where's the question again, JP? Sir, sir the, this question is actually located in the chat box. Again, I will uh -huh. read po. Sir, what do you think is the most effective branding strategy if I'm going to promote... Uh, a coffee product in a company or offices. Siguro, Miss Pa, yan. May follow-up question po din, sir. Pero yun muna po. Yun muna po yung first question ni Miss Paula. What do you think is the most effective branding strategy if I'm going to promote coffee product in a company or offices? I think the best, ha, for... Kahit hindi naman sa offices. Kahit sa everyone na. Ngayon kasi, ang branding strategy now is more on the... Kasi lahat ng tao is instant na ngayon, eh. So I think it's promote uh, branding na uh, it will say na parang it's easy to make, it's easy to drink, it's easy to make, use. So yun na ngayon yung common na nang ano. Kasi lahat on the go na eh. Lahat sa fast pace na tayo ngayon eh. So you need to focus on that strategy na makukater mo yung mga client mo na gusto na mabilisan lang. So dun tayo mag-focus sa, uh, you need to put in your packaging design na uh, ready to drink, easy to make. Na ang branding mo is catchy, na parang gets na agad nila na pag na-read nila yung, pa, yung branding mo is, ah, mabilis lang yan, kaya ko yung gawin. So that's in my, it's my mind, it's in your mind na parang ganun lang. Kasi lahat tayo ngayon, ganun eh, parang fast pace na lagi yung nangyayari. Thank you for your response, uh, Sir Jet. Actually, share ko lang, no? Uh, oh. Since nag-share si Sir Jet ng response. Uh, we have uh, one of our researchers here. Uh, Dr. Miriam, our first speaker during the uh, first session, no? 
This is not an endorsement, no disclaimer lang. Not a disclaimer, uh, endorsement to promote her product. But that, kasi that is a brewed coffee. But the, the innovation there is that it's a drip coffee. It's called a drip coffee, no? Ang brand name ni Mama is, again, sorry if I'm correct, it's Toikonomia, right? Something like that. And then drip, this drip coffee is parang uh, meron siyang sachet pag binuksan mo. And then yung mga uh, powdered uh, uh, coffee, no? Tapos lalagyan mo na lang siya ng mainit na tubig. No? For those people na gusto nila ng hot brewed coffee, no? Besides sa uh, cold brew na shinier ni Miss, uh, uh, Miss Kisha a while ago. So thank you for that response. Yeah. I read one is... I, I read here, JP1. Um, huh? I, from Mr. Arnel Ferrer. So that's a yes, good sir. question because sir this uh, this is the question is regarding the branding of one coffee products of your client na ipakita kanina may naging issue na po ba sa cultural appropriation with regards to use actually meron kaming nangyari yung kalinga uh, kalinga blend namin na isang coffee it's because may mga tribe na nag-angkin so yun yung kaya iingatan natin yung mga symbols especially sa mga may mga tribes tribes kasi yan yung nagkaka-problem Kasi uh, parang kine-claim nila ifugaw daw yun. Sabi naman ni ibang kalinga. So yun yung nagkaroon ng medyo conflict noon. So yun yung mga iwasan. Ang problem, ang ginawa namin symbol kasi nila is alam niyo yung parang, parang bilog na hikaw ang tsura. So yun yung ginamit namin symbol which is inapprove ni client. Pero yun nga, madaming nag-react doon. So yun yung mga iwasan lang. Especially mga ganito, mga palay, uh, mga coffee yan. Mga dami kasi may mga kanya-kanyang tribe-tribe sila. So, yun. Correct yung question mo. May mga naging issue do sa cultural appropriation with the symbols and patterns. Correct. Thank you very much, Sir Jet. No? Uh, last question. Ah, sorry. The product pala, type ko na rin, na yung share ko kanina, it's called Taza Poino Nia. If you want to share it, no, our dear participants, just look at in the fa- Facebook page to know their uh, product innovation and coffee. Sir, one last question, no? Sure, from sure. Our ex. sure. I think this is a good question, no? Uh, pagsabayin ko na lang sila nung uh, dalawang question. The first one is, the trend design for 2021 daw, after, I think this is a post-pandemic question. Oh, and the, the other one, sir, is the advocacy, no? Is still an effective way to brand your product. So, misan kasi, kadalasan kasi, di ba, nililink sa CSR and other advocacies, no? Kano ka effective yun, sir? That's it po. Salamat po. I think sa advocacy naman, I think it's still gonna be effective naman. Except for this era lang na talagang wala tayong magawa. <laughs> Walang magawang marketing strategy ngayon. Pero I think it's gonna be effective pa rin na sa advocacy na maging effective pa rin yung brand sa sa product mo. I think, I think one more. I think okay naman siya. Thank you, Sir Jet, no? But the, what, what are the insights po sa trend design po for 2021? Sa trend design, wala pa ulit akong na, okay. ano eh, wala pa ulit akong nakikita naman na bagong trend sa ngayon. Except for now, is uh, it's more on the minimalism pa rin eh. Minimalism side, ganun pa rin. So, doon pa rin tayo mag-stay sa minimalism Eugene, pa rin. Andiyan ang tanong. Thank you, Sir Jeff. I hope, no, sa ating participants, sasagot na po ang ating mga questions. Sir, further, further more questions sa ating FB Live audience po we have here. From Mr. Jeff Avila, sir. Okay. What is ayan, I think this is uh furthering us no? furthering your lecture. What is the difference between brand and trademark? Now, a trademark is more on a symbol kasi sa para sa pagpaan lang yan eh, sa branding. Ang um, brand mo is it's the whole as a whole of the the like your brand it's a very broad explanation kasi. Pero to make it simpler, brand is it's more on as a whole. The trademark is more on the symbol, logos, yun yun. So yun ang trademarks. And trademarks, kasi for example, you're gonna apply in 
in a IPO. This trademark is different from um, patent. So, magkaibang magkaiba talaga sila. So, if you gonna say brand, it's as a whole. Parang pangkal, pangkabuan siya. So, yan. Pero madaming explanation yun. So, yun nilang yung parang simplest form para i-describe yun na what's the difference of brand and a trademark? No, a trademark is more on a, in the, a specific detail of a design. Brand is the holistic of the design. So, yun. Thank you, Sir Jet. No? Moreover, again, there are important factors no, to get the demand no? and uh, client satisfaction. That's it, Sir Jet. Yes. Again, our dear participants, should there be no more questions, let us now proceed to the awarding of certificate to our resource speaker. Allow me to read the content of this certificate. Cavite State University, through the National Coffee Research, Development, and Extension Center, presents this Certificate of Appreciation to Mr. René Jetro M. Abari for actively sharing his expertise as the resource speaker during the third session of the Coffee Break webinar series, entitled Declaration, Communicating Coffee Products Through Branding and Packaging, held on August 27, 2020, via Cisco WebEx software. Signed, Engineer Jerry M. Castillo, NCR Deck Director, Dr. Ruel M. Mojica, Vice President for Research and Extension, and Dr. Hernando D. Robles, University President. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sir Jethro. Again, our dear participants, let's give him a round of big virtual applause. As we get to the end of this session, spare us more time for some promotions. If you're ready to express what your mind and heart wants, now is the green light towards courtship. Join us on the fourth session entitled Courtship. Pursuing viable coffee business ventures, which will be led by a world barista champion and the president and CEO of Henry and Sons Trading and Manufacturing Incorporated, Mr. Michael Harris Conlin. This will be next week, September 3, same time again. Again, we will be posting the registration details on our Facebook page, so please don't forget to, vid to visit us and like us for updates. Also, if you're a local enterprise who offers coffee products and wants to be featured in the next session like Coffee Genie earlier, just send us a message in either of the contact details flashed in your screens right now. And now, kindly take the time to evaluate this session. Just refer to the link we provided in the chat box, or you may scan the QR code flash in your screen. If you're not able to evaluate this time, feel free to message us through our email or via Facebook so we can send you the link. Make sure to check your emails to see if you have received the certificate of participation.
Upon the accomplishment and submission of the evaluation form, you will be receiving the certificate of participation, just like the ones flashed on your screen. When you're evaluating, allow me to read your certificate. Cavite State University, through the National Coffee Research, Development, and Extension Center, presents this Certificate of Appreciation, Participation, apologies, to your name for attending the third session of the Coffee Break webinar series entitled Declaration, Communicating Coffee Products Through Branding and Packaging, held on August 27, 2020 via Cisco WebEx software. Signed, Engineer Jerry M. Castillo, NCR Deck Director, Dr. Ruel M. Mojica, Vice President for Research and Extension, and Dr. Hernando T. Robles, our University President. Okay, seems like the group is done with the evaluation. When all is said and done, on behalf of the National Coffee Research Development and Extension Center, NCRDEC, we would like to thank you for attending this session. See you in the next coffee break. Thank you very much. Maraming salamat po. We're now signing off. <laughs>